My name is Michelle. This is my major research assignment presentation. Today I'll be talking about the enduring legacy of Walter Crane. Walter Crane was born in 1845 and died in 1915. He grew up in Liverpool, England. He was a professional illustrator, writer, and leader in the arts and crafts movement. He started his career working on children's books, then he moved on to new areas of illustrative work like Shakespearean works, poetry, and gallery paintings. His children's books had a representational, ornamental, and decorative style reflective of the arts and crafts movement. The decorative books demonstrate modernity because they are made using new techniques, they emphasize the beauty of the material, and they served a wide public. When printing evolved into a four-color process, Crane illustrated his works to make full use of the different colors available. It made his work beautiful and incredibly vibrant. In this book, Don Quixote of the Mancha, one can see the incredible colors achieved with this printing process. His children's books were inexpensive and widely available to purchase. Goody Two Shoes and the Necklace of Princess Fiori Monde were two inexpensive toy books with beautiful artwork within. Crane was a modern artist because he was willing to change. He embraced the Japanese style of white space and curved lines. These books were done near the end of his career and look very sophisticated because of this style. He emphasized the concept of unity with systematic book design. The Household Stories from Brothers Grimm demonstrates his attention to detail and his unified book illustrations. Walter Crane was the jack of all trades, but he will be remembered for his children's books illustrations, which were iconic because they mixed images and storytelling in a highly decorative manner while being unified by modern design concepts. Thank you for listening.